everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Today we're going to talk about glutathione. Glutathione is a natural antioxidant made naturally within your body. Some people call it the mother of all antioxidants. Tons of benefits from this stuff and I want to talk to you about how to make it properly within your body. But before we go down that route, I just want to share some of the benefits of it because it's super amazing. I got a really long list here. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So here we go. Let's get started. So glutathione protects you against free radical damage. That's obviously really great. It aids the liver in detoxification. Really important because for those of you who want to detox and understand the importance of it, you're really going to need proper glutathione levels. It also boosts your immune system and protects kidneys from damage. It repairs liver damage, again another really important thing, and glutathione is actually made in the liver. And it has an anti it has anti-aging properties and really good for your skin, so I know people would probably love to have that. It also helps uh, with nerve damage that you've either gone from chemotherapy, like chemotherapy drugs, or even um, diabetic neuropathy. So that's another amazing thing that glutathione can do for you. It helps also rid your body of heavy metals. So things like mercury, things like lead, something that's really important for us also. It reduces inflammation, promotes gut health, helps prevent heart disease, the number one killer in the US of course, fights bacteria, fortifies your bones. Anybody with osteoporosis, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your glutathione levels are up and um, at the right levels. Strengthen your muscles, it also improves your endurance. If you're an athlete, you're going to want proper glutathione levels. Um, it improves sleep. Again, super important for your body to re regenerate. You want proper sleep and promotes overall longevity. So let's talk about what affects your glutathione levels. Okay, as you age, you get depleted in glutathione. Over 90% of Americans have been shown to be deficient in glutathione. Things like stress are going to cause you to drop those levels. Even certain medications like acetaminophen, for example, causes your levels to go down. Why? Because they have found that things that are toxic in the environment or things like chemicals, stuff in your food, stuff in your water, stuff in the air, just stress in general, all these things cause you to deplete your glutathione because you're actually utilizing it when you're exposed to these things to help your body detox and cleanse from it. So it's interesting because some of the medications, again, like acetaminophen or other medications that actually cause liver damage are things that are depleting you of the glutathione, then you can't detox properly, and then your liver gets damaged. So the question is, how can you increase your levels of glutathione? First of all, I definitely do not recommend supplementing glutathione. Why? Because it's an, un it's an unnatural way of getting glutathione in your body. Your body doesn't respond to it the same way as if it makes, its, makes it on its own properly. So you want your body to make its own glutathione. So it's kind of like testosterone. You want your body to make it naturally. You don't want to be injecting it into you, which is basically steroids, negative side effects. You want your body to make it properly. Even some doctors don't recommend taking glutathione as a supplement. They actually recommend the raw ingredients that it takes for your body to make it. But I got a better way. Hydrogen, guys. Hydrogen's better in order to be able to get your glutathione levels right. Because one thing you have to understand is that you don't want too much glutathione either, and you don't want too little. So let me share a research study with you. First of all, if you have healthy levels of glutathione and you use hydrogen, your body, hydrogen will not make you make an excess of it. So that's really important. If it's low, if you have low levels, it will promote you being able to make your own production of your own natural glutathione. So that's super awesome. In this particular study, they took mice, they exposed them to radiation. When they exposed them to radiation, their glutathione levels would obviously drop. So then what they would do is they would take the mice, give them molecular hydrogen, then expose them to the radiation, and they found the glutathione would almost not even move. So you were sustaining the healthy levels of glutathione. So this was super important. Obviously, if this is something that's going on in our, inside our bodies, you want the proper levels of glutathione. Hydrogen's a really good way to go about it. In my opinion, if done properly, of course, you always wanna make sure you get a really healthy way of making the hydrogen, no chemical reactions in my opinion, none of these Chinese hydrogen sticks and these hydrogen pills that leave certain residues in your body over long term usage, electrolyzed ionized water, you don't want all that, you want a really clean form of hydrogen. I recommend if you, if you use the HydroFix like I like to use, I recommend drinking a minimum of the 1.5 liters of water throughout the day. And then if you can do inhalation at night, you know, right before you go to bed, maybe you're watching TV, reading a book, relaxing. Inhale it for 30 minutes or an hour. And that's it, guys. That should really help your glutathione levels so you can be able to detoxify and stay healthy and have those healthy levels and have those anti-aging 
um, and all the anti-inflammation and all these wonderful things that glutathione can do for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you appreciate the info. Hope you're excited about it as much as I was. I just loved learning about it and reading about it. So if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys like the info. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification uh, bell. So that way, whenever I release new information about hydrogen or health or whatnot, you guys will get the notification. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on the next video.